Hey guys, it's Cameron from Nick's Handmade Boots, and welcome back to About the Boot. Today we're going to talk about our insulated boots. These boots come with our Polar Thin XP insulation. Polar Thin XP is a cutting edge aerogel fabric which has up to four times the insulation performance versus traditional synthetic insulations. This feat of scientific innovation does not require loft to maintain thermal insulation, even when it's compressed to around a millimeter thick. This fabric is made with aerogel which is a super insulator that was invented for NASA to insulate their satellites for temperatures as low as negative 450 degrees. We have opted to put Polar Thin XP in only the places you need, keeping your extremities protected from the cold winds with a layer in the vamp and another layer to insulate you from the ground in the insole. It's durable and waterproof, furthering the insulation capabilities. This insulated portion only comes in our work boots and our hiking boots. To test the capabilities of this insulation, we had it sent to a lab to get tested, where it was rated for zero degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, uh, so first comment here. I have a pair of Builder Pros with the Polar Thin, and as others have said, the insulation provides a mild warming effect. It is also not at all noticeable in the construction of the boot. Being just a little thicker than a sheet or two of paper, when worn indoors in 70 plus degrees, my feet do get hotter than in uninsulated boots. I finally had the opportunity to take them to the mountains and went hiking a few days in a row. Temperatures ranged from 36 down to 29 degrees. While I didn't notice a significant warming sensation like I do in other heavily insulated boots, I was comfortable on my multi-hour hikes. I do believe the insulation extends the comfortable temperature range for these boots as normally. I'd begin to experience cold feet around 50 degrees. Just don't expect the insulation to make the boots super warm, far below freezing. So yeah, that's kind of what we wanted with insulate, these, this insulation. So most insulation, it's really thick, it's bulky, it's prone to getting wet and smelling. Um, so we have lined just the vamp and the footbed of these boots to not necessarily heat your feet up, but to insulate, keep the warmth in the boot. Um, so the idea is this insulation will keep you from getting frostbite and your toes freezing, uh, but your feet won't necessarily get hot and sweaty when you don't need that insulation. So it is something you can wear all year round uh, without having to worry too much. You know, you don't have to throw them in a corner when winter is over and it's starting to warm up a little bit. I picked up a pair of shrunken bison boots with the polar thin lining in the fall to serve as my winter boots. I'm in Minnesota and our weather hasn't gotten particularly cold yet. Recently, a few days have been in the low teens, but most of it has been in the 20s or low 30s. I'm still wearing regular athletic socks, haven't moved up to a heavier wool sock yet. The bison boots are much more comfortable temperature wise than the Roberts I wore last winter. I also have a new pair of Predator Steel boots, which I've been wearing on days I need to go into the office. There's a clear difference between the two with the Bison being comfortably warm where the Predators are noticeably cooler. If I were to be wearing the Predators outside a lot, I'd use the winter socks that I haven't needed yet with the Bison Polar Thin boots. We'll likely get to sub-zero temps in a month or so. I'm looking forward to doing the compare and contrast then. We have sent these to the lab to be tested, and um, they have passed a test rating them down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the test involves, you know, getting the inside of the boot, you know, a typical warmth of someone wearing the boots, and then seeing how the temperature changes over 30 minutes being exposed to zero degrees Fahrenheit. And the change in temperature was I believe it was less than 10 degrees Fahrenheit, um, so pretty good. And so in a boot where you're active, moving around a lot, uh, sh you should expect to keep the warmth within the boot. Walked a few hundred miles in it so far. It really is very thin. It definitely doesn't smell like anything other than leather. I remember in previous videos of when this option was first released mentioning how bad synthetic insulation can smell. So that is one nice thing about the Polar Thin as well. Um, again, it is very thin. Um, it's an aerogel fabric, uh, which aerogel is 
honestly some sci-fi level stuff. Um, it is a super insulator. Um, so they have found a way to turn it into a fabric. Uh, the really nice thing about this is it is hydrophobic, which means it will not get wet. Um, it will not absorb moisture like any other Thinsulate or um, fabric insulation. Uh, so you can, you know, tromps through the, the water, the snow, your boots may get wet, um, you may soak through the leather, but the insulation will not hold the moisture like other insulation would and create the mildewy, smelly um, boots that you typically find with insulation. They wish the boot was fully insulated uh, rather than just the vamp like we currently do. Um, right now we just line the vamp and the insole, again, to keep the most important part warm. Um, freezing cold temperatures, it's your extremities, your toes that really get cold and get frostbite. So our thought behind it was keep the most important part warm. Um, this is not a cheap fabric by any means, um, so um, it's pretty costly. We decided to just line that part. We might come out with a more expensive fully lined version, um, though I do wonder it might be a little overkill if we line the whole boot. And that's all for this about the boot. Make sure to keep an eye on our Reddit page for when we ask for reviews from people so that you can be featured in one of these videos. And thank you guys for watching.